What's going on, everybody? Welcome to T3G. My name is Full Throttle. I'm Cerebro. Today we're doing, once again, our weekly roundup of the TV shows that we love to watch and talk about. And uh, this week we had a, a very low number due to, it was very, uh, it was due very... to a hiatus of and, and on top and of error. that, and on top of that, we're putting, we're putting this out later than we usually do. Yeah. So we had less less things to review, people. less things to review, and more. That's what happens when you wait for people. Um, so what do we what do we have? We had Agents Shield, yeah, we Agents. had Gotham, we had Walking Dead, mm -hmm. and let's talk about the premiere first. Walking Dead. Or I mean, what am I talking about? Man. He doesn't even know what he's I don't even, talking about. I don't even know what I'm saying. You're talking uh, about Agents, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Let's do it. Let's talk about it. Can I start? Go for Can it. Go for it. Um, listen, they did exactly what I was hoping they wouldn't do. I thought they would man up and avoid this part. And they did exactly what they did. One, it was a filler episode. Two, it was not a filler episode. It was a episode. filler episode. Two, it was not a filler the whole episode. crap like, oh, my my partners that I've, you know, put my life for and they put their lives for are not going to trust me bullshit. I really hoped they would go past that. I she really didn't tell did. them. I know. They don't know. Why, I know. How could they trust her? Okay, that's fine. At the same time, like that one scientist, she's like, no, they should all die. Like that's the that's well, basically the mentality right. she. And then. <laughs> well, I was, then, watching, uh, uh, I was watching. I was watching. I forget the channel. What was it? Uh, the street. Uh, the stream TV. The stream TV. I was watching their uh, agents after show. Right. And uh, the the one woman said, uh, fit, like uh, Simmons is now. Racist, and I was like, "Yeah, That's she's true. racist. She got super, super racist. Super like, racist. She must oh. hate Thor. She must despise Hulk. She's like with the Avengers. She's like, it's not worth it. You know, like just right, oh, right. Just, like, man. Uh, I, I hate that they went with that character being that way. Because I mean, I she's a intellectual person. You would think she'd be a little you would better think about so, but that I mean, in attitude. But I mean, wise. when you lose someone, I understand you don't that. make the I, best decisions. Sure, you don't absolutely. Say the smartest but listen, things. I mean, uh, you've lost. Already quite a few people throughout the show. One, two, you've already watched people die numerous times due to supernaturals being in your world and fighting. Right. Uh, so, like, it's not like all of a sudden she realized that supernatural people are, are bad. Or, like, can be bad. Or can be bad but for I, the environment. Or whatever she's <laughs> for doing. For the it. environment. Whatever she's the doing. Ozone the ozone layer might be depleted. Uh, <laughs> I, I just, I, I absolutely hate this episode um just with the wow. with the way they went they they but they had to go that way so no they didn't she, i she think what they could have honestly honestly what they could have went is what the next episode looks like it's going to be where they find out she has powers everybody's in shock colson's still going to protect her against the thor chick sith sites whatever she's going to be sith. in yes yeah, sith. sith whatever Lady she's sith. Gonna, She's gonna yeah, be but Lady in there. Sif uh, um, is missing her memory in this next episode. That's fine. That's fine. But I'm just saying, like this, that episode should have been this episode. This episode should have never happened. It's just, it's a bad episode. There was nothing about it that was like I, they, they I okay. So they went after some Hydra guys, shot them in the head, and and had them play against each other. So they kill each other a little bit too. I really didn't care at all. This episode was a complete okay. disappointment. Okay. I wish, uh. I wish Marvel was better than this. When it comes down to this, okay. this so I don't TV think it was show. a complete disappointment. I, I don't. I mean, I think that's a bit harsh. I don't think it was a complete disappointment. No. I think there could have been elements that were better. I like the kind of covert way that that Coulson got the Hydra people to kill themselves. I like that. That was cool. Sure. I like the power, um, the, the power manifestation of the the other inhuman right where he showed up he's like i'm gonna show you the way boom let's go sure, that, that was actually I the only did thing not like i i i liked about this episode that was the only thing I, watching I, him like teleport and stuff like i that. didn't like what um what's her face became i don't i forget her name uh yeah the chick I, the other I girl talking about the other girl right? you know quill i think i think the the character is quill um i didn't like what she became because she like I just don't like it. Looks, it looks ugly. Like I just don't like the appearance of it. Um, and that's you know if that's shallow of me. That then that, that's that. But I just don't like. She kind of went from kind of being weak and being a little dependent on other people to now she was gonna kill herself. Right. Yeah. See, that's uh, the thing. I hated that too. Like that was like, another thing. That's I, what I didn't like. Like about that's it. I didn't I, like how she became. Like I think Sky is 
just figuring it out. I think Sky is just in shock that, you know, she she has these powers and she's just realizing it. Right. And I think that's the only reason she's not out like out right away with it. But she's gonna figure it out pretty fast. And I think I think they're gonna move on with it within three episodes. Well, I mean that's the thing. They 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 should have moved on with this within this episode. Like that's how it, it's just. But like, you have to have that moment of revelation. Like she has to save them have or it do while, something crazy or have it, like do sure. Awesome then, now. like I said, this episode should have just not existed. Next episode should have existed, and I would have been perfectly happy. Like no, there's just it's all disappointment. Like you said, that chick. Like first of all, it, it's funny how this chick has involved throughout this series. So one, she was this tough girl, I'm for myself, but yet I have this person that I completely believe in and in what he's doing, and uh, uh, but I'm still my own powerful woman, power thing, right? And then all of a sudden she became a little more dependent on the next guy, uh, not being as, as confident about herself. Uh -huh. And then now she's just like, well, I mean, I knew it was gonna evolve, but like, this isn't what I watch. Yeah, like, I want. I want like this is beautiful. well, like this is evolution. I'm gonna go jump. Yeah, this is evolution. Well, like, it was well, just you know, it was all. I just, don't. I I was completely disappointed with this episode. I really wish, uh, because I, I I absolutely love what Marvel does when it comes down to their movies and how, what I plan and idea they have, and obviously this, uh, you know. Coincides right. It co yeah. Coincides with uh with the story and and that's awesome. It's just it's it was a disappointing episode. I, I I expected what I'm seeing in the trailers for the next episode for this episode. I just wish this episode wasn't there. That's basically where it's at. Right. I just kind of wish they skipped this whole part because it's just there's nothing to it. Yes, something clearly happened to them. Like that that thing doesn't blow up and they were crystallized and all of a sudden like something happened. You realize that the other girl got transformed. So obviously something's up with Sky. Like it's no way that there isn't. Uh, and 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 for scientists that are on another level, being in the back, back, uh, I guess in the back scenes of everything where they're on top of all this supernatural stuff, you would think they would just be ahead of this. Where they're you think just, they would just like not, just like accept it not more? Ex well, definitely accept it more because. I mean, they clearly know. They, this is this is definitely. This a, isn't news. This, this isn't, isn't new. This isn't a. This isn't like oh my god, mind blown. No, this isn't. This, this is isn't before Iron Man one. Right. This isn't before Thor even. Like right. Like even them accepting Iron Man and Tony Stark's able to build this suit and fight crime. That's fine. But the fact that there's Thor and Hulk, like this isn't any more before that. Like you got a guy that literally becomes a raging monster and can destroy a building by punching it. Like it's. It, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I'm with this you. is this I'm with is you. past that. So to me, to me, this episode was just it was it was it was the thing I was hoping Marvel would get past. Like they just wouldn't accept this going to this level and just being on that other level. Like okay, we realize the show hasn't had great acceptance, but here's the and thing. like we we know where we're kind of messing up, and here we're gonna go ahead and and give you a little bit more. I think that what we can do, and I, they can do it. I just don't know what's going on. Maybe they have the wrong writers for I, the show. I don't oh, know. here's the thing. I think we would have the same problem. Not necessarily the same problem, but I think if if it was the next episode and everyone knew she had powers and everyone was cool with it, mm -hmm. she was like practicing with it already. Sure. I, I think that would be too fast. No, no, I don't this, think she should be practicing. Like, the next episode shows, like, she's like, I can't control it, I can't stop it. Like, that's what in the trailer, that's she's saying this. And then, like, Coulson, like, they show, like, Coulson's like, no, you can't have her. He's got a gun pointing at the person, whoever's talking to Coulson. I'm, I'm assuming it's Sif, maybe it's not. But at the same time, like, that's the episode. Like, she doesn't have any control over it. She, right, she's trying so to, like, avoid even recognizing that it's there. That should have been an episode. Not, like, I'm not saying, like, oh, I got this... But but you're like, but no. the, but that's that's you're presuming so if that was the next episode you're presuming that that she realized that she was the cause of the earthquake. That's that, fine if she didn't, but like they could have played so, that in like for she, the next. episode. There would have had to have been a moment where she realized like this episode had to happen. I don't think so. This episode I don't is think the even a bit. this this episode is the Matrix Reloaded of the Matrix trilogy. I, I you had to have Reloaded to get to tri to get to I the re revolution. I personally believe that there's no way there's nobody here or there's nobody that can convince me that this episode needed to happen for this next episode to happen. Not even a little bit. I disagree. Not even a little bit. I disagree. Not even a little bit. 
I just but yeah, that's that's basically where I'm at on that take. I just I I, I was completely disappointed that, Gotham. that they went that way. So going to Gotham. Here's um, here's what I'm, a, I'm a, the first thing I want to say is uh, what we have been praying for and hoping for is uh, Fish Mooney likely will not be coming back for season two. So now we just have to choke. Unless for some odd reason shh, they shh, cast. Shh. They cast somebody new. No, well, I mean, yeah, that's true. She she said that she's, she's, she's well, not she didn't coming say back. it outright. She just didn't confirm that she was coming back. Oh, okay. Uh, I didn't read the article, but it's like the title. And once again, I always complain about titles, but the title stated, uh, uh, "Jaden or what's her name, Jada, Jada Pinkett Smith is not coming back." And I'm like, yeah, she okay. says she. But titles can be deceiving because right. people like to get you to sure. click on that. Sure, sensationalism. The, the um, but here's the thing. I, they're really forcing the fish story at this point. Oh, they really are. I, as soon as that episode ended, and it's like, she's on an island. I'm like, this is not Gotham plus island. This is Gotham. Right. I don't care about some island off the, you know, off yeah. the Atlantic or wherever the hell she's at. Yeah, I completely agree with you. I truly like them focusing on Mooney and like, and, like they could have brought in island a and, and I don't, she's like, dealing with I've never this. heard of this like, doctor. I've never heard of this doctor. He might be a minor, you know, but we've never character. heard of Fish Mooney either. So clearly, right. But they, they could have brought in like this would have been a great opportunity to bring in an excellent Batman villain. They could have brought in Hugo Strange. Yeah, yeah. That, now that that's I, what I was expecting. That's what as I was soon as he was like for. the doctor is is out. You know, the doctor's going to be back later, and she's like, what's his name? And I'm like, say Hugo Strange, say Hugo Strange. Right, yeah. And it I was, wasn't Hugo Strange, and I was like, what the hell? Uh, I don't like the fact, like, she got her, okay, so she gouges her eye out, and now she's got her eye back, but it's a different color eye. Yeah. He's like, we couldn't match the color. Right. And I was like, I, you can't, that's not possible. Well, listen, like, <laughs> there's a lot of things that are not possible. That's not possible. And, and it's you can't it. reconnect other people's eyes. Um... Especially with, like, what little equipment he had there. Like, that didn't look like the best equipped place. Well, I mean, we didn't we didn't see. I mean, clearly this guy's transplanting, so he, he might have a facility part of it that we sure. haven't seen. So sure. that I just take into consideration. But, yeah, overall, I, I wanted more. I wanted more Absolutely. of Bruce Wayne. Absolutely. I wanted more of that story happening in this than I, I like, like. I like that he you, was super G. He knew he knew that the guy was there to rob him. Right, right. Like that the, was awesome. The only thing, like... Here's what I say about this episode, and, and uh, I'm hoping that this goes this way. Like, the whole Gordon thing, where he's trying to uh, figure out where to get this guy so that he can blackmail him and, you know, all that stuff. Like, well, not necessarily blackmail him, but get the blackmail material and then ends up blackmailing him. Like, that whole part of the story was... I wouldn't say I hated it, but I wouldn't say, like, I liked it. It's, it was, like, in the middle where, like, it's a story that's there type of deal. Sure. The well, whole Fish was... Mooney thing, though, I wish they got rid of that and just did a whole Bruce Wayne thing. So, like, it's 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 Gordon, his story, the story that's going on, and, and, and Bruce Wayne's side of the story that's going on. Like, that's all, like, in that show. Not where they, like, try to throw in Fish Mooney for the next 15 minutes because that, that mattered absolutely nothing. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, the, the whole Fish Mooney story was completely pointless. I... I really liked the Bruce Wayne portion. That was fantastic. I just, I was just astonished. As soon as he started talking, he was like, yeah, he was there. You know, he's clearly there to, like, steal my, my stuff. And he was clearly there to, like, find out about what the research I was doing. He's like, the, the other theft was just cover. I was like, 15-year-old Bruce Wayne is the shit. <laughs> like, he knows what's up. Yeah. And I was like, man, because I really, I, I expected that to, like, be glossed over that he didn't catch that. Yeah. But, like, you're kind of seeing that, you know, the detective showing up. And I think that's going to be fantastic. Uh, the Gordon thing, I think it was, again, I think it was a necessary step towards building a less corrupt Gotham. Yeah, people. yeah, absolutely. And like uh, I said, that part of it, like, I didn't hate it, but at the same time, I didn't, like, enjoy it. Sure. But it was, it was just something that was there, and I was okay with it. Uh, the whole, like I said, the whole thing about what Gotham needs to do, one, as much as I, I, I hope nobody gets us wrong, man. Like, we don't hate Jada. Like, she's a great actress. She's a fantastic actress. I hate that character. We hate that character. I hate, we hate that, that character. character is just being forced now at this point, and there's just nothing, there's no point to it. Just get rid of it. You could, you could have written her off, like... Five episodes. Five ago. episodes ago. She could have been done at she the could half have been, season. Yeah, she could have been done at the half season. She could have... I mean, even after she got captured, she could have been done. She could have been the next person up for a slaughter, you know, to get her parts. Like, it's just... 
I don't know. To me, I say get rid of her. Um, not, you know, not saying that Jada's bad. She's a great actress. It's just that character is just it's. I really don't like that character. No, not at all. I, not did, at all. Did you did you see the 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 moment where Riddler snapped? That was fantastic. He brought her the flowers, and she's like, "Oh, this is this guy." And he's like, and he like broke the flowers. I'm like, "That's it. That's right there. That's when he fucking snapped." Oh no! I, I you know what? I must have like. Like, I Cause remember, he brought, he I brought remember the flowers. Flower, the flowers, and he saw the guy, and they walk away, right. and he turns around, and it just kind of like this little pan over, uh -huh. and he's holding the flowers, and they kind of snap in his hand. Ah, okay. I was like, that's the See, moment. I must have just turned my head at that point. I was like, that's that. the moment. I'm like, this is because from here, I don't think it's gonna be huge moves. I don't sure. think he's gonna become like a villain soon. Right. But I think this is where you're gonna see him kind of become a little, maybe more sadistic, a little more, right, right, a little more dangerous. I definitely want more sad more sadistic out of this show because it is a darker show here's the thing like people always complain about oh well you know marvel's got this but dc's got uh, great villains you know type of deal or like it's a dark you know they're always so sad and dark well here's the thing like one thing works for one company, another thing works for another. And well, here's honestly, the thing. Batman like, is not a happy story. No, I was like, going to say, there's I, nothing anything in happy. The so nothing, if you make like, it happy, I would be like, that doesn't make sense. Go <laughs> Gotham is the shadow that Metropolis casts. Right, right, exactly. Like, Metropolis is beautiful and golden, and it's got this shining sure. hero. And then you've got Gotham that's just... The, the the dirt goes right there. exactly that's where you like it's the place under your couch that you shove all the dirt absolutely you know you might have a spotless house but you shove the dirt under the couch you know and uh and it's just it's um i i hope to see him more sadistic i hope yeah to. i you know i, 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 I don't want to see him go full i want to see yeah I wanna see uh, but i want to see i, I want to see him i want to see him in a more sadistic like realizing that he's not a good because i think i think i think riddler Edward Nigma, I think, has more of a possibility to become entwined with the Gotham underworld. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because of his analytical mind, because right. of his, you know, the, the type of thinking he has, absolutely. I think he could be really good at maybe, like, hiding some evidence, right, like, right. he could start doing some favors mm -hmm. here and there, and then he could have this back catalog of favors, so then when he decides to make his move, you know, two seasons in, three seasons in... He has. He's just gonna say, "All right, Falcone, I need you to leave town for two weeks. Right. I gotta make my move." Right. <laughs> no, absolutely. I, I I completely agree, and uh, we'll see where that goes. But yeah, overall, it was an okay episode. Um, I mean, I liked it maybe just a little more than Agents, so not not right. that much more. It, it's really the whole Fish Money thing. Like I said, it, Fish Money really kills kills that whole episode for me. Right. Like it's good. It's it's happening for me, and then it's like, oh, let's talk about Fish Money. I'm like, I don't care. Like I don't. I don't not care. even a little bit. I'm so happy that Barbara's almost virtually no to be seen. Yeah, I and, want her to be uh, gone. I want her to be done. I don't want yeah. to hear about her. Anymore. I'm sure we'll see her in the next episode <laughs> as much I'm, as we don't yeah, want to. Yeah, I mean, I'm so I'm so um, done with that character. Like I hate Barbara Gordon, or Barbara whatever her last name is. Right. I hate Barbara's character even more than Fish Money. Oh yeah, absolutely. Fish Mooney at least has entertaining points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Barbara absolutely. Gordon, Bar or Barbara, whatever her last name is, Barbara was was cool for about two episodes. Right. And then she was like, "Nope, bitching out. Yeah, I'm out of here." They just, they just went a whole different way. But yeah, but that's that's pretty much. I don't know. Do you have anything else to say? That's pretty much it for Gotham. Yeah, that's that's all I got for that. So what are we doing next? What do you want? Walking Dead. Walking Dead. Is that the only three shows that we? That watched? was the only three shows this week. Jesus, it was a light, light week. Well, I want to talk Walking Dead. So, Walking Dead. This time around, we find our guys inside the camp. They're, you know, trying to figure it out, trying to see if they're gonna stay. They're getting interviewed. They're obviously, from what it feels like, they're interviewing the people at the camp as well. So it's kind of like a black back and forth feeling. You know, they're filling out the camp and the people there where. You know, uh, the camp's feeling them out, and uh, I, I just want to go straight to the end. The end where he just turns around and he says, "If they can't handle it, yeah, if, we'll if just, they if we'll, they aren't if they aren't up to the task of surviving we'll here, just take we'll over. just take this place." And, it's and I was like, like, "Well, that's the most G Rick has been in about three seasons, dude. I <laughs> I will take that any day. Like, it's not that saying that he's going bad. It's just he's okay. There's something that's great." Clearly, this is a fortified uh, town or whatever it is. Yeah. And 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 it's got, um, it's got what is the word I'm looking for? It's got potential, right? Yeah. It's got a lot it's, of. Potential. You've got oh, you've got open housing, like you've got right. space. They've got 
their own water. Like, they're yeah. not running water. They have they electricity. Got definitely very well fortified walls. I mean, they have everything, and it's just there's no reason. If and and he's right. If they can't be, I think, and I don't think this is in my personal opinion. I don't think he meant to like. Oh, well, if they can't take it, we'll just take this over. I don't think he meant it in a way like, oh, we're bad guys. We're just going to force them out. No, no. I think what it means is like if they do something stupid, like, you know, cause yeah, a they... riot or a... Or a or... <laughs> yeah, I don't think he was saying that to say, oh, you know, if... Uh... If they're weak, we're just gonna take it. Like I think what he meant I think, was. I think it's along the lines of what the guy did at the beginning, where he's right. playing around with the. They they had the the one dude strung up, and it's like, what the hell are you doing? No, yeah, I, I think it's gonna be basically like, um, okay, so they're clearly uh, idiots. They want to cause problems. They don't want to take this, you know, seriously. They're they're here just to cause issues for everybody we're gonna go ahead and now be yeah. the prime we're, we're gonna go ahead and run this joint order in here and and i completely agree with him at some point um you know what this world is already bad to a certain point to where you don't need people that just want to be there to cause even more problems because obviously the world has gone to complete shit mm -hmm. you know you gotta s survive you gotta fight for your life there's just no point of having the people that are there to just cause more problems on top of that so, right yeah I, I agree with him i agree with that statement and i'm i'm happy to see what happens next uh, overall the episode you know did it feel like a filler episode sure did i liked seeing Rick clean. That was crazy. That was, when I he forgot. took that beard off, I was like, I forgot that? what he looked like. I was like, that's not Rick. They just got a different actor I without a beard. I forgot what he looked like, dude. Uh, it was so crazy. It was crazy. It was crazy. But that's what's funny because I watched Talking Dead and stuff like that. So he's got just a little scrub now going on. But it's still, when I saw that shave after watching the show or during the show, I was like, that's... That ain't right. <laughs> like it's a completely it's just, different. It's look. so so different. But uh, I I enjoy. I mean, it was a filler episode, but I still enjoyed it. I liked it. I was mad. As, so Carl saw the the girl, which I, I'm I'm surprised that they didn't even mention that. Mm -hmm. But he saw the girl go out. Right. And where the hell did she go? First uh, of didn't all, didn't he find her by where? Uh, he didn't find her though. He she they heard the knocking. They heard the like banging, and then she went somewhere. He tried to find her. And then she, he lost her. Oh, that's right. But what I was but mad, she, what I was mad about, it, he was in the house, and this was like a classic season two moment. He was in the house, and he saw some shit, and he was like, "Oh, look, shiny!" And he went out the house, and I'm like, "Stay in the damn house, Carl!" <laughs> what the hell? You know what? I mean, I'm okay with him being curious and stuff like that. It's just, it's good to see. Originally, I never liked Carl's character, but I, I think over time, he seems to have like. Maybe matured more, I guess I mean, would be the word. Up. Uh, you know, he's up. he's taken the, you know, he's he's taken the fact that he might have to kill some people, not just zombies. Like right. he's he's clearly at the point where Rick is at, and he's just a younger age. It's like I like, like I be the badass for a minute. Oh yeah, I, that was awesome. I absolutely, I almost forgot to say, mention that. Yeah, I love it. Uh, I absolutely love that Glenn just not knocked that guy to his ass. He's it like, I don't think you guys are ready for for patrolling. He's like, I think you got that. I, I think you got that backwards. Yeah, no, that was that, awesome. I think you're thinking the awesome. other way around. You're not ready for yeah, patrols. Yeah, no, that was absolutely awesome. I hope we don't lose Glenn anytime soon. I know he, from what you mentioned, he dies in the he comics. He does comics, yeah. uh, But I don't want to lose. Yeah, him but so, but so so do other people at different times. So does so. Rick. Yeah. So you know. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, Rick has to die at some point. He right. has to die at some sure, point. Sure, but hopefully not anytime soon. No. I mean, not anytime we're soon. season what five now? Four or five? Yeah. I can't remember. Four or I five? I forget. Yeah. I mean, I think I think he. It depends. It depends on how fast they move the story along. Because I don't think, I think he should die. When, um, what's her face, can walk. When the baby can. Oh, walk. when the baby can walk. Now is the baby uh, once again you. Sophia. Sophie, Sophia, something like that. Um, is she in the comics? Like, is she something? I that's... don't know. Okay. I don't know. Okay. I, every time I've glanced through, I've never noticed, sure. but I was never looking for that specific. Thing. Right, right. I got you. Well, yeah. Overall, I just, uh, you know, there's really not much else to say. I enjoyed the Glenn being a badass part. That was awesome. That was great. I like the fact uh, that I the, like dude, the, the dude's mom was like, 
I like Thank the father son moment where they're killing zombie outside this town, you know, uh-huh. knowing that they're still they're still them and not weak at yeah. all. Like no, uh, we're not gonna we're not, so, we're not gonna so become we, weak. We got a shower. That doesn't mean we've changed already. Type uh-huh. of deal. Uh, I love Rick saying what he said. I wish Daryl would take a shower end. though. I do wish Daryl would. Yeah, Daryl. I mean, take I get it, man. Shower, I bro. get it, man. Listen, you clearly your character has never fit in this kind of society even before the zombies. But that being said. Take a you're damn shower, filthy, bro. man. You feel you got dirt, you got blood probably take, mixed with that dirt. I mean, it's, it's time shower, to take a bro. shower. Um, but yeah, it was just it was a fun. It was you know for a filler episode, it was still a fun episode. I like that it was not linear uh, because it was those interviews were happening before yes. before yeah. the majority of the episode. Yeah. So while the interviews are being played, like oh, so what do you want to do? This that the other thing. Oh, well, they already had assigned those jobs, and they had already I had agree. these conversations. I agree. So by the time they gave him the house, they had yeah. already given those job titles out. Yeah, I absolutely agree with you. So I like the, the fact that, they, that he's going to be a constable. Uh, he's going to be the sheriff. Well, yeah. Um, it was cool and, seeing him. And that the... Michonne's going to be on that team, too. Yeah, yeah. So I, they're, they're, they're the security. Oh, I, like. I did one more thing. I loved when Carol said she's a people's person. <laughs> like, that was great. That was, yeah, she's absolutely a people's person. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. She understands people. She understands people. Understands um, how to shoot them. Um, <laughs> understands when they're up to no good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, overall, I, I enjoyed it. I really don't yeah. have much else to say. I enjoyed it more than the other two uh, episodes that we talked about. Yeah. And um, I just, I always, I can't believe we're almost done. It's only like four more episodes or something like that. Yeah, that's four, that's another month. Four or three. I think we're very low. We're almost done. Because they keep mentioning it. They're like, oh, just a few more episodes and they're done. Well, yeah, but that's at the same time, we still have another show. We have uh, Agents Just Came Back. I zombie starting soon. Like I, I said, we'll, we'll look. We'll look at that. Yeah, we'll look we'll, at that. We haven't decided no on that, on that review because I gotta see this pilot first to even. Because I'll, I'll say right now, the commercials for I Zombie are not. Doing I like it for it. me. I like it. I think. I think it's cool. I mean, I, listen. I hope it's really good. I hope it grabs my attention, like I always talk about. You know how it's got to grab me. I mean, I think I think you got to go into it expecting it to be a comedy. I think. The, I think the point is. I'm gonna fine be with that. I think it's gonna be. Kind of like this, this is a whole nother another we can do this on a whole yeah, other I, 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 mean, I, I just want to say this. I just want to say I think it's gonna be like a, a funny Constantine. Okay. All right. Well, off that point, yeah. Overall, <laughs> that's that's basically all we have to say. Uh, that's it. That's everything for today. Yeah. Finish it up, man. Tell all right. Well, thank, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. If you guys liked the video, hit that like button down below. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't. If you have, share our videos. We uh, we appreciate it. We like the conversation. And uh, if you guys have any comments on the shows, if you think. We're wrong. You think we're right? Let us know down below. Absolutely. Check out T3GTech.com, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. As always, I've been Cerebro for T3G. Full throttle, but I do want to go on saying uh, real uh, quick, uh, finish uh, up. Uh, if some of you guys are here just for tech and you are still watching this, but you prefer the tech, we are trying to do more tech videos. It's just trying to get this a hold of that This is easier and faster. <laughs> and less expensive. <laughs> well, less, less yeah. expensive, but we got some tech. We got some, tech we got some stuff, so some, that'll be... We got be... some stuff being reviewed here, here shortly. Exactly. So, I mean, we'll, we'll have some more tech coming out here soon. But, yeah, like he said, like, subscribe. Well, like is an optional thing, but subscribe and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.